another mission for Pod coming up now on BBC Two, and this one involves him finding out about materials. Annie is the daughter of a superhero pair, and though they love her very much, the two are hardly there. But Annie has a special power, and robots on the go to help her learn the things she needs to know. Yes, she has Arlo, Arlo, and the cheeky red robot Pod. So here we are, and on we go. We Yahoo! Yay! <laughs> Careful, Pod. Behave yourself. Oh, he's always like this after he recharges. Watch out! Oh. Pod? Yes? Come out of there, please. No. I like it here. It's cosy and warm. <sighs> Let's build Pod a pod house. A house? For me? Then you'll have a cosy place for your own. Yay! I'm going to have a house. I'm going to have a house. I'll have my own house. I'll have my own house. Wee! I hope you know how to build a house. I can build anything. Very good. What materials will you use? Materials? Oh, I, I'm not sure. There are many kinds of materials, you know. There are? I think we'd better have a look. Ready, Pod? Let's find out as much as we can about materials. OK. Off on a mission! They're building an igloo. I'd like a house made out of snow, Annie. But it would melt where we live, Pod. Let's see some more materials before you decide. Oh, what's this? It's rubber. Rubber? It doesn't look like rubber. It does once it's been processed. Look, they're making rubber soles for these shoes. I could have a rubber house. No, thanks. You'd be bouncing all over the place. How about metal, then? That doesn't look bouncy. I don't know how to use metal. It's too hard. Word! That's the one. I'll be right back. Yay! Annie's going to make me a wooden house. While Annie's building you a house pod, see what different materials you can find in the high street. I'm on my way. Hello, Fanny. Hello, Callum. Hello, Pod. Let's play What's It Made Of? Off you go! This parking meter is made out of metal. How do you know? Because it's rock solid. This is made out of metal too. This waste bin looks like metal, but it's actually plastic. How do you know? It's softer than metal. What are you looking at, Callum? Oh, it looks like marble over there. OK, good. What about the doorway of this building? There are lots of different materials here. Can you spot them? Stone steps, wooden doors, metal railings, plastic intercom, metal letterbox, Great! Now then, what about those shop windows? What are they made out of? Glass. Are you sure? How do you know? Well, because it's shiny and you can see right through it. What can you see through that window, Vanny? I can see jewellery made out of silver and gold. Gold and silver are examples of different... Metal. Very good! Now, can you find me something that's made out of... Rubber. Mm, car tyres. Car and can you see something that's made out of plastic? Hmm. Those flower buckets are made out of plastic. What about something that's made out of two materials? This is made out of plastic. And this is made out of plastic and it's got a metal core too. Very good. You've done very well. Time for a treat. Ugh. These are made out of plastic. Sorry. Try these. I got you donuts. What are they made out of? 
go. Got to go. Got to see how my house is coming along. And what might that be? It's Pod's house. That's a house. It's not very comfortable, Annie. It isn't. Sorry. Try again. Oh, Pooey. You'll need to use the right materials, Annie. Oh, why is that so important? You'll see. Wait. Rewind. OK, show me. Right. Pod? Pod, Pod where, where are, are you? you? Here I am and here I go. Concrete is the best material for this job. It's strong and rigid. But I don't know how to pour concrete. I know, Annie. I'm just showing you some examples. A roof has to be waterproof. Pod's house isn't going to be outside. But my house could still have tiles on the roof. I don't know how to tile a roof. Never mind. Let's think about the floor instead. I want my floor to be stretchy and bouncy. These aren't the right materials at all, Lolo. Hmm. Maybe we should see something made out of several different materials. Good idea, Rollo. What are they making here? Oh, bicycles. But I can't make Pod a bicycle. I know, Annie, but bicycles are made from more than one material. Here's Andrew, the bicycle designer. Hello, Andrew. Pod, hello. What materials do you use to make your bikes? Well, we use all sorts of materials. We use steel and metal for the frame, nice and strong. We use rubber for soft, squidgy bits like the tars. And we use plastics where we need lightweight for the lights and saddle and things like that. But why don't you just use one material for everything, like rubber? Rubber? Rubber's very flexy. We would be all over the place trying to ride a rubber bike. It would, you would fall off very quickly. It would be, you'd never be able to steer it. Oh, I see. You can't have a bendy frame. Well, that's why we use steel for the frame, because it's really stiff and strong, and you, can, you, you can't move the frame about at all. And that gives the bike great stability, and on every bike you have the same sort of thing, a steel or, or a metal frame at least. Yeah, but rubber's good for tyres, isn't it? Absolutely. Rubber's really good for tyres. These are the tyres we use on our bikes. When you go over a bump, of course, the rubber gives a little bit each time, so it makes the ride comfortable. When you go round corners, it doesn't slip. It's nice and sticky rubber. So it's ideal for that job. And it's very tough material, too. It's surprising how tough it is. Andrew, why do you use plastic for the saddle? Plastic comes in all sorts of shapes and sizes, but the great thing is you can make it to any complex shape you want. This is very light. The frame is made of plastic, and then a special plastic with air inside it makes it nice and squadgy where your bottom goes. What else do you use plastic for? Well, there are many other bits on the bike. These are harder bits of plastic on the whole. Take, for example, the pedal. This is as light as possible and a very complicated shape that would be very difficult to make in metal. What's your job, Simon? Um, it's just assembled bikes at the moment. How many do you make in a day? About 16 or 17. Let's see you do it, then. That doesn't look much like a bike. Ah, that's because it's a folding bike. Bye, Pod. This time, I made it all out of wood. All I used was a hammer and nails. Yes, I can see that. Do you like it, Pod? Um, it's kind of crowded in here. Crowded? Uh, there are a lot of nails sticking all over the place. Well, I could only find big ones. You know, before building anything, it's very important to measure your materials. But I don't know how to do that, Ollo. Well, let's find out, shall we? Oh, OK. Pod? Pod, where are you? Here I am, and here I go. You see, Annie, when you're building something, everything has to be measured first. They measure their land before they even start building. Of course. 
everything must be measured. It's the only way of knowing for sure that everything will fit together. Oh dear, it's much more complicated than I thought. Don't worry, Annie. I can wait. Can we see some more on measuring, please, Pod? Coming right up. Hello, Clinton and Holly. Hello, Hello Pod. Pod. What are you making today? I'm making a birdhouse for somewhere for it to live in, have a warm house to stay in. It will look like this. I've done a sketch. I we'll have a roof and a little hole for the bird to go in and out of. And what are you going to make it out of? Well, we've chosen the material carefully and we're using a marine plywood. The material is very water resistant. Because the bird house is going outdoors, it needs to be able to withstand the, the elements and the weather. So what do you have to do first? Talia brought the, the drawing in and I had a look at it and I've drawn up some plans for her. And uh, the first step after that is to take the measurements off the plan that we've done and uh, transfer them to the wood. And then after we've got those correct, we'll cut the wood to size. So let's start measuring. 17 centimetres by 13 centimetres. That'll be our first measurement. How long was that side again, Holly? 17 centimetres. You've got millimetres on your ruler. How many millimetres is that? That's 170 millimetres. OK, great. An important point about measuring, Holly, is to always measure twice. If you measure twice, you're making sure that you're getting your measurement accurate and uh, you can't go wrong then. If it wasn't measured accurately, it might not look like a birdhouse. There we go. Perfect. OK, that's brilliant, Holly. All measured up. All that remains now is to cut it all to size. doing there? He's drilling the hole for the bird to go through. It's finished! It's all fitted together then, Clinton. Yeah, seems that measuring was right. Do you think the bird will be happy there, Holly? Yeah, very happy. <laughs> May I look now? Not yet, Olo. Pod? Yes? Are you comfortable? Yes. Hmm. You finally made a house for Pod? Well, I didn't actually make it. Ah. The nest is made of excellent materials. Soft, warm... And everything has been measured exactly. Clever bird. Fits perfectly. Well, well. Annie, I'm proud of you. Oh, but I didn't make it. Mama. I'm not your mama. Mama. Mama, 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 mama. Hey! Uh, stop! Stop! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Arlo and the cheeky red robot pod. Yes, she has Arlo, Arlo and the cheeky red robot pod. So here we are. And